Hi, it's Jackie. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can crop a page template, an overlay in this case, a PNG file, to create some new templates. So when designing page templates, I try to create a wide range to better let people build sort of useful pages for them. So you want as much flexibility as possible. But of course, there's a limit on how many variations you can come up with. So if I create a whole page, somebody will want a half page. If you create two columns, somebody wants one. So you, the great thing is you can create your own bespoke page templates from the ones you've already got. You just need to use a little crafty cropping. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make multiple variations of a page template overlay using the crop function in GoodNotes. So first choose the page overlay you want to alter. So here I'm using one of the page overlays that comes with the day only dated planner. So I've tapped here, I'm in the, actually in the GoodNotes sticker book version. So I've gone to the page templates and I found this. So I want to make sure I keep the original full page version because I might want this version as well. So first thing I do is I'm going to duplicate this page in my sticker book and then I can crop one of the pages into a smaller version. So to duplicate this page, hit the thumbnail top left. You can see which page you're on because it's highlighted in blue. Hit the little carrot icon underneath and you've got the option there to duplicate. So that's made a copy which you can see next to it. And I'm going to do that again. We're going to do two versions. So tap the carrot icon, hit duplicate. So I've now got three versions of this. So to go back to the page to tap on the one with the blue outline. So we're back to our original. Now this is safe, so I'm going to flick to the next page. Looks exactly the same. And this one we're going to do a version where I'm going to have one column of boxes, which gives me the rest of the page free. So to do this, I'm going to tap and hold, and I'm going to hit edit. So you can probably see now, this is actually just a PNG that's sitting on this page. So to get into crop, I just need to tap once more, and you'll see then you get the option to either crop or share. So I'm going to hit crop. So now I can see my page overlay. Uh, I can see the outline and you can see you've got the little grab handles all the way around so you can crop it. So we're going to make this, I'm going to pull this across, just get that between those two lines and I'll pull the top down a little bit, I think as well. So that's the version that I want. So when you're happy with your crop, hit done. And can you see now I've created a new version of my overlay? OK, so if we do that again, we go to the second copy that we made. So again, it looks exactly the same. I'm going to tap and hold. I'm going to click edit and I'm just going to tap once more and choose crop. And this time I'm just going to have three. So I'm going to crop off the bottom here. Let's get that just in between and I'll bring the top down as well. And when you're happy with your crop, just hit done. And you can see I've got a second version. So now, if I need to do these, I can save these, obviously, in my sticker book. I've got one with a full page. I've got one, let me just, I could tap and edit. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Whoops. That's it. Let's make that a bit smaller. Pop that on the side there. And I've also got now a version that just goes across the top. So I think I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller as well. And this is a really handy size. You can imagine popping that in the bottom of a notes section, for example, on a planning page. So from one page, I now have three different versions for my page overlays. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks.